Jera. This is a kind of intellectual gut check aiming directly at your credibility. Your heroes are Bill Casing and Ralph Rene. They are the source of your attitude toward NASA and the Apollo program. You consider them your ideological ancestors and you regard yourself next in line as chief heir of this conspiracy crown and defender of the moon hoax faith. I'd like to know how many of your God's decrees you believe. All of the following questions come directly from claims made by Rene or Casing or both of them. Rene claimed he disproved Einstein's theory of relativity. Do you believe that? He claimed that he disproved Coulomb's law. Do you believe that? He claimed that he disproved Newton's universal law of gravitation. Do you believe that? He claims to have discredited Archimedes by saying that a floating object need not displace its mass of water. Is that correct? Does the Earth rotate on electromagnetic Rene bearings? you believe electromagnetism, not gravity, governs the motions of the planets, as Rene claims? Is Rene correct in claiming that the Earth's equatorial bulge is nothing like scientists say it is? Rene thinks Emmanuel Velikovsky's claims about Venus were confirmed by NASA. Do you believe that? Is your idol correct in claiming that mammoths could not have lived in Arctic climates? Did Rene set all of the heavily credentialed gas bags straight when he claimed that dinosaurs and humans coexisted? Do you believe that rift-type earthquakes where the seafloor drops cannot cause tsunamis? And do you agree that scientists have confirmed this claim by Rene? Are you with Rene when he claims that Gaddy actually proved that pi was off by half a percent? Do you step up for Rene in claiming that the U.S. government was complicit in the 9-11 attacks? Did NASA murder the Apollo 1 astronauts? Did NASA murder the Challenger crew? Did NASA murder Jim Irwin, as Casey insinuates, along with as many as a dozen other NASA people because they were going to blow the cover off the Apollo hoax? Should astronauts on the moon have been able to see trillions of stars, as Master Casing claims? Should stars show up in photos which include the lunar surface? James Van Allen said the claims of lethality of the radiation belts by conspiracy theorists was nonsense. Do you consider him wrong or lying when he says this? Casing said the Pearl Harbor attack was planned and paid for by President Roosevelt and Prime Minister Churchill. Do you agree? Casing also said that nobody went into space before the shuttle program. Do you buy that too? Should the Lem have made a crater? Is Rene's Sea Rock legitimate evidence that NASA faked the Apollo missions? Are ice ages impossible, as Rene claims? Is solar radiation, not Rayleigh scattering, responsible for the sky's blue color? Is weather the result of ocean temperatures, barometric pressure, etc., or is it an electrical phenomena, as Rene says? Rene claims the solar wind, not inertia, is responsible for the persistent rotation of the Earth. What about that? And, he says, it causes all the major air and ocean currents. What do you say? Rene said he was introducing a new paradigm with his revelation that the Earth's polar axis changes suddenly and cataclysmically as the result of huge earthquakes or meteoric impacts, and that the geological strata prove this. Do you buy that? It stands to reason that Rene believes in perpetual motion machines, free energy systems over unity devices, etc. Do you believe it too? It 
it's not like I had to cherry pick and quote mine the way some people do. I've asked about almost every claim he made on his webpage. What's amazing is that Renee and Casing are almost never right about anything, but I guess that's what you'd expect when someone pits himself against the entire scientific and academic communities with the ponderous conceit that he is going to rewrite just about everything we know and have known for a long time. I'll be asking more questions in the future concerning your moon hoax claims, Jera. The kook is dead. Long live the kook. <laughs>